Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. This is uh, another TF Nation related video. These are not questions. Uh, I might do one more questions video, but I'll I might wait f one more week so that we're literally about two weeks before we go. Because I think uh, we're finally now starting to get some conversation going in regards to TFN. There's a few um, first timers, or well, people that have maybe been once, and then there's some a lot of newbies as well. Um, starting to make videos. Dave uh, Smizner. He also made a video. He's not going this year, unfortunately, because he's now got a little wee little baby, or baby Dave, as we all like to call. And uh, so, yeah, okay, so, you know, Dave isn't going to be attending TFN this year, but, um, or Emily or anyone else, but, uh, but uh, yeah, he made a video kind of rallying the troops, so to speak, just to try and get some conversation going. Um, I know Zort Rad has been, he's graciously... And kindly been doing videos responding to my question videos and also doing his own uh, fingers on plastic I just like to say a nice little shout out to him because he's been shouting out to me in some of his TFN videos um, I really appreciate your little shout outs and I hope to see you at TFN my friend um, and uh, yeah and uh, who else can I figure top of my head uh, Rich, Bisto Yeti um, who else has done videos regarding me? Oh, Chris Gaunt. Gaunt? Ghost? Gaunt? Uh, yeah, Gaunt, I think it is. Um, forgotten your YouTube name now. But I know he did a response to my questions as well. But anyway, so there's more and more people starting to come out of the woodwork now. Starting to really get excited because we are literally three weeks away now. Roughly three weeks. So I might, get, I might do another question video next week. Um... At the moment, everything's a little bit higgledy piggledy because I've just I'm about to start a new job, literally three weeks, <laughs> literally about three weeks before. Um, well, I am. I literally have started a new job, pretty much um, three weeks before TFN actually happens. So at the moment, I'm quite preoccupied with that. I've got my training and everything for that at the moment, um, and then I start properly next week on my actual rotor. So, but I'm still getting paid for all the training and everything. So essentially, I've started like I started last week, really. But I start properly once everything's all been done, and all the training's done. I am, you know, hundred percent done. So, without further ado, I won't bore you with any more. I've nearly been three minutes talking about nothing, nothing TFN related, really. But so this is my hopes and fears and shopping list video that I've has been going round. I do not. I don't really know who started it. I think it could be Zort Rider. If I'm wrong with that, I apologize. Please, uh, whoever started this video, I don't know if it was Dave or Zort Rider, um, or somebody else. But if whoever started this video, or this chain, <laughs> this chain reaction of responses people are doing, uh, let me know in the comments below so that I can do a proper shout out to you. Um, you know, because I like to. Give credit where it's due. So, um, oh, let me just swap over to. Oh, that's better. Uh, I need to remember to use my tripod a bit more. And I've got a tripod upstairs, but I always go vlog camera. <laughs> anyway, so hopes, fears, hopes and fears, and shopping list. So my hopes for twenty two for TF Nation twenty nineteen. Well, I'm hoping to meet people for the first time. I know this um, someone called Nicole, Nicola, um, and uh, her other half as well will be going for the first time. Um, I'm hoping to meet her and her other half. Um, I've been having a couple of conversations on um, people going to TFN Facebook group. Um, she's seen my videos and uh, I'm quite happy that my videos have really seemed to help her get excited for the event. Um, also, uh, another person that went, another individual that went to TFN last year, but I never met the guy. I think he only went for one day. And that's, uh, I think, Simon. Um, Simon from Fingers on Plastic. YouTube channel, a uh, really nice guy, been having some nice conversations, he's commented on my videos, I've commented on his, he's now a member of my Geeky Info page as well, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to meeting him and uh, his mates that he's going to be rallying up with as well, 
Um, anyone else that's going up for the first time, and you know my videos, you know who I am through me doing YouTube, by all means come and say hello. I am always, always, I'm very welcoming to new people. I like to... I like to kind of make people first timers, people that are maybe a bit un unsure about big crowds and things like that. I'm quite happy to help people feel a bit more confident and more comfortable um, because I know exactly how that feels because I was that person when I went to my very first Transformers convention, which was Auto Assembly 2010. And I've, been, I've now done nine of these things nine of these things uh obviously it's tfn now it's not auto assembly anymore but um but i've been going to nine consecutive years to a transformers convention that's held in birmingham every year so um so my hopes is to meet new people see my friends that i've known for many years um hopes are Depending on how money is, I would like to maybe pick up maybe a couple of little cheapy things. Um, but obviously I will get to that on my shopping list in a moment. Um, I think that's it for hopes. It's just generally to have a good time. I, I know I will. I don't need to hope it. I, w I always have a good time at the event. Um, I, my lovely girlfriend Lizzie, she's going to be uh, coming up possibly on the Friday, staying... Staying over the night and going home on a Saturday afternoon, late afternoon. So I will I'll be seeing her for a good couple of days while TFN's going on, which will be lovely. Um, spend more time with her and uh, and then um, yeah, I'm hoping to check out some panels, uh, meet some guests, um, such as Brian Drummond. Because uh, obviously I love Jetstorm. Jetstorm is my favourite character from uh, Beast Machines. I know Beast Machines is a bit hit and miss with people. Um, I'm not the most avid fan of Beast Machines. I love Beast Wars. But Beast Machines is... I watched it at the time when it aired. Um, I have a bit of appreciation for it. I But it's a bit out there for me. And for a lot of people to get and understand. Because the story is a bit all over the place. Compared to how Beast Wars storyline was. Um, but uh, I, I, I enjoy it all the same. I've got both seasons, so I might possibly bring my season season one box set of Beast Machines so I can get it signed from Brian Drummond. Um, I also want to see if I can meet uh, Greg Berger again because I've, apparently I got a message at TFN last year from Aunt Andre Sagaluza he who voiced uh, Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe in the live action movies <coughs> or movie. I think he only appeared twice and I think I'm not sure if Andres voiced him in both Dark of the Moon or I think it was Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe was in. I think Dark of the Moon as well. But I'm not sure if it was a different voice for the other film. Anyway. Um but anyways, Andres Sugaluza, he was a voice guest last year. And uh, he apparently he said Greg, Greg, Greg says hi to me when when I went to his signing table. Because uh, apparently Greg Berger saw a video that I did last year um, about my uh, basically it was like a hopes and fears video I did last year actually funnily enough, and um, apparent I had uh, somebody commented on that video last year uh, on a video last year me kind of doing a hopes and fears thing, and. Uh, it said Greg Berger, and I thought, is someone playing a joke on me here? I responded to it saying, no, you know, I think I responded to it, but I was a bit dubious about it. And um, so, yeah, uh, so apparently Andrew Sagluza also watched my videos. I've watched a couple of my videos as well. And um, he had a real nice little uh, shout out to me, for a little message that was meant just for me from Greg Berger saying, um, you know, says hi to me, you know, to kind of acknowledge it. I've no idea if that was for you or not, but I'm kind of uh, intrigued to see if I can have a nice conversation with Greg at some point throughout the weekend and just, you know, say hello. I'm not going to be that bubbling idiot like I was back in 2011, where I brought way too much stuff to get autographed and signed. And, um, I kind of did the beginner's stupid thing of too much stuff at once to get signed and there's a big queue of people probably staring daggers at me at the back of my head. You know, get out of the way. You know, all that stuff. But anyway, so it's often.
But anyway, so there's my hopes. I want to check out some great panels. As as in regards to panels, I'm not too sure about what's on the schedule, but I, I want to check out the Boulder Media Q&A panel because um, I'm really intrigued about that one. Um, I want to check out Brian Drummond's panel, Greg Berger's panel, um, obviously Peter Spellos's panel. Possibly, I may go to that, I don't know, because I've already met, I've, well, I've met Greg Berger and I've met Peter Spellos multiple, well, I've met Peter Spellos about three, two or three times now. This would be his, no, it's his third appearance. So this would be the third time I've seen the guy. He's a brilliant guy, don't get me wrong. He's an absolute gent. He's an absolute gent gentleman and a scholar. He's awesome. But I'm, I may consider going to that, or I might not. I don't know, but... Anyway, each to their own. But uh, Brian Drummond, I've never seen met before, and I'm really intrigued to check out his panels. Um, so there's my some hopes and other things. Fears. Fears, fears, fears. The only fear I have currently, and I'm currently watching Simon's video from Fingers on Plastic, and that's what kind of made me do, they do this response. Um... So apparently, uh, he he's roughly in a similar boat to what I was like, where you know, currently unemployed and no money and things like that. Um, so like I said earlier on in this video, I have now now essentially started at a new job, and I, but I start hundred percent properly next week, um, and I have no idea whether I'm going to get paid on time from my new job. Um, if I don't, then I'm relying on my last benefit payment full I don't know if I'm gonna get a full payment or if I'm gonna get a part a part uh payment. I've no idea. Um so I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm just hoping I've got uh, I can cover my hotel room. Um as long as I can cover my hotel room and I've got a bit of money left over for food and drink throughout the weekend, I am really happy and I'm more than satisfied with that. But that is a fear that I might not have any money by the time August, uh, by the time it actually comes around. So I'm just hoping I look out and, and I'll get get a bit of look behind me, and uh, I manage to be able to either get my first payment from a new job, just before we go, or this the actual same weekend that we're travelling down at least, or. Um, I get a, a, an actual more more money than I was expecting from job centre because I have no idea. Shopping list. Um, shopping list. <sighs> so, like I said, no money. I have literally no money currently, but that could change if if fortune allows. I would like to pick up this limited edition Gundam series, Gundam Wing box set that apparently is going to get be sold in the Gundam Wing section at this year's convention. Because so obviously TFN twenty nineteen is celebrating the thirty fifth anniversary of the Gundam franchise. Of no, is it no, is it forty years? Thirty five or forty year anniversary for Gundam as a as a franchise, but. Um, apparently they've teamed up or sponsored by Anime Limited or All the Anime and they're going to be there or uh, someone called the Gundam Guy or Gundam Mad Gundam Mad, there we go Gundam Mad Stall is going to be selling limited edition box sets for Gundam Wing and if fit allows that is going to be possibly the main pick up because I've always wanted to pick up Gundam Wing complete um, it's my favourite series, and it was uh, Gundam Wing was one of the most one of the pioneering uh, series that got me into anime in the first place. So, because uh, obviously it was on Toonami back in the day, so I really would love to pick that up if I can. Um, also, it, toy related, transformer related, I have no idea. Um, I love my Beast Wars figures, as everyone knows by now. Um, I might pick up some loose Beast Wars figures. I don't know. Anything cheap. You know, if I can't afford anything expensive, I'll at least come away with something that's maybe in a loot bag. You know, you know where you can get loose figures. I like to rummage through the loose figures that they've got there. Because loose figures are easier to come home with than boxed ones. You know, because uh, a loose figure you can simply just wrap up in a t-shirt and it's protected and... You don't have to worry about, oh, you can just put it in a backpack. 
you don't have to worry about space when you're packing for coming home. So I quite like to have a look around and a good, nice little rummage around all that. So shopping list is basically how my financial situation is once it actually comes around, whether I actually have an, a little bit more money to play with. If not, then I will just be I'll, be, I'll be quite happy to just chill out with good friends, have a good time, have a good laugh. And if I'm able to, I would love to pick up the Gundam Wing limited edition anime box set that they're apparently going to be selling there over the weekend. So, I will see. That will probably be my main buy uh, on my shopping list uh, if I can't afford anything else. But anyway, so that's my video. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I was supposed to cover in this, but that's my hopes, fears and my shopping list all in one video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. See those of you that are going to TFN. I hope to see you there down there. If you see me about, by all means, come and say hello. If you want, if you want to make videos, or you know, if you're one of these people that like, like myself, that likes to document the event, because I'll be doing video in as well. Um, obviously, I do a, I've got a vlog channel called John Knowles Vlogs. Link in the description. Uh, shameless, <laughs> shameless little plug there for myself, but uh, well. Um, so I've got another secondary channel called John Knowles Vlogs and it, it just says everything that says on the tin um, you know it means exactly what it says on the tin I do vlogs on the side of my regular these videos and um, fingers in the way of the camera there we go so yeah that's what I'm that's what I do on the side so if anyone's interested check out the link give it a look subscribe and I will be doing, uh, I've, I've documented the last two TF Nations, I think maybe three, um, on my vlog channel. Uh, so I will be doing another TF Nation vlog for the full weekend, from Thursday through to f month coming home. So yeah, um, see you there, anyone that's going, stay awesome, respect one another, and uh, have a great time everybody. Bye-bye.